Hi, my name's Dave. I'm a Senior Customs Officer based at the International Mail Centre. Today I'm going to talk to you about what happens from when your parcel arrives into the country until it gets to your front door. When you're tracking your parcel and it's showing hell for clearance, you're probably wondering, what's going on? Where's my stuff? By the end of this video, we'll be able to answer those questions and you know what you can do to help us get your parcel in the delivery van. When your parcel arrives, it comes from the plane and is brought to the International Mail Centre. Here, it's then processed through mail priority, so if you pay for expensive shipping, it'll get dealt with first. We look for a number of things, such as weapons, medications, pipes, bongs, fake stuff, and of course drugs. We also do our part in protecting local industry by taxing incoming parcels for GST, just like this one, but I'll talk more about that later on. The Ministry for Primary Industries, or MPI, are looking for food, bugs, or anything that might damage our environment or economy. So if you have anything like that in your parcel, it might be held for an exam. If there's no issues, then your parcel should just pass through seamlessly. However, if you've tracked your parcel and it says held for clearance, and we need any follow-up required, then MPI, Customs, or NZ Post will get in touch with you. The International Mail Centre processes just under a million items each week, which can be quite time consuming. Contact will be made with you through letter mail, which is currently the only way NZ Post operates. As I mentioned earlier, there's a couple of reasons why customs might want to look at your parcel. You can visit our website at www.customs.govt.nz and there you'll be able to find out what items need permits, what items are prohibited and what items need a license to import into New Zealand. People can sometimes be concerned when parcels are stopped by customs, but as you can see everyday items are used to conceal things. We've got a box of cookies here with cigarettes inside. Um, this is a DVD case with ecstasy. And finally we have a phone case and behind the phone case was a little bag of meth. So don't be surprised if your parcel does get stopped by customs. If it's open and found to be okay, it'll be released. Remember, health for clearance is the default status on the tracking system, and it may be MPI examining your parcel. The most common reason your parcel is being held for clearance is because of some GST and duty to pay. You can estimate this at whatsmyduty.org.nz or download the app from the App Store. This is where we calculate how much you have to pay. To ensure this is accurate, we ask you to provide an invoice and proof of payment. We don't want you to pay more than you should. Customs will assist you in this clearance process as long as the items in your parcel are for your own personal use. All commercial goods must be cleared by a customs broker. When I say commercial, I mean anything for business use. Businesses include charities, non-profit organizations, churches, and especially trade me on selling. Basically, if you're not going to use it for yourself or your family, then you need to get a customs broker. If you do not have a customs broker, NZ Post can help. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you have a better understanding of what goes on behind the scenes of customs and know why your parcel might have been held for clearance. And now you can get back to your internet shopping and you'll know what to do next time to get your parcel through customs. If you do have any other questions, you can email us, you can message us on Facebook, or you can give us a call. Thanks.